Hi Coronado, I'm Dominique Albrecht, Coronado's Acting City Manager, and this is the weekly update for the week ending September 3rd, 2021. A workshop to discuss tennis and pickleball in Coronado earlier this week drew 70 people who provided important public feedback that will be used to guide a follow-up workshop. At the workshop held August 31st, participants could visit seven stations and select their preferences on various topics. The topics were solicited through public comment at two meetings, an April 28th Special City Council meeting and an August 9th Parks and Recreation Commission meeting. Information gathered is being collected and an analysis of tennis facilities around the region is being reviewed to help staff develop a program for the follow-up workshop. A date for that workshop has not yet been set. A public workshop is set for next week to briefly summarize what staff has heard from residents over the past 18 months regarding a long-term plan for Kays Park and to obtain consensus regarding design guidelines. Prior to the pandemic, the city conducted outreach on a proposed Kays Park master plan project with online surveys, workshops, updates in city publications, and at public meetings. The meeting is set for 6 p.m. on Thursday, September 9th at the Community Center. Design guidelines that receive consensus will be used to develop design elements, including renderings for the public's consideration at future workshop prior to the creation of the master plan. Attendees will be required to wear masks. For more information, call Jim Newton at 619-522-7313. The city will observe the Labor Day holiday on Monday, September 6. Certain city facilities will be open with varying hours of operation. Public services crews will not sweep streets on the holiday. EDCO will not perform regular residential trash collection on Labor Day. As a result, service will be delayed by one day. The full Labor Day schedule can be found in the weekly update online. At its upcoming September 7th meeting, the City Council will consider authorizing staff to release the Administrative Draft Climate Action Plan for a 60-day public review and comment period receive the results of the 2021 National Community Survey, consider extending the temporary outdoor seating permit program and waiver of parking requirements through the end of the year, and consider amending the Coronado Municipal Code to include an appointment procedure to fill council vacancies. View the full council agenda on the city website. The Coronado Public Library's Autumn Concert Series is back to in-person performances that also will be live streamed on Facebook. The kickoff performance is a classical guitar performance by local artist Claudio Martin playing instrumental rock music on September 3rd. Concerts will take place at 1 p.m. on Fridays in the library's wind room until November 5th. Next week, September 10th, pianist Ed Kornhauser will play a selection of jazz and reimagined favorites on the library's Steinway piano. Check cplevents.org for a full list. All concerts in this series are free thanks to the friends of the Coronado Public Library. Recreation programs for all ages are now open for registration and classes begin September 7th. Register soon as spaces are filling up fast. Check the weekly update online or the recreation page for more information. A reminder that the free summer shuttle ends on Monday, September 6th, which is Labor Day. The service provided courtesy rides to residents and visitors to get them out of their vehicles during the busy summer months. Thanks to Discover Coronado for the colorful wrapping of the four buses and to MTS for its partnership. Moose is this week's Pet of the Week. Hi, my name is Erin and I'm a volunteer here at the Coronado Animal Care Facility with Paws of Coronado. This week our Pet of the Week is Moose. Moose is a one and a half year old Husky Retriever mix who weighs 55 pounds. Moose is a sweet and gentle boy who is house trained and loves to be with his people. <laughs> he would be thrilled to live with a family that will provide him with the same unconditional love and affection that he'll give back to them. And because he's so gentle, he would do well with kids of any age. Getting to be with you, spend his days with you, hang out, just play some ball would be his absolute dream come true. As with all of our animals, Moose is neutered and microchipped. He's up to date on his vaccinations and he's had a flea preventative applied. He's available for an adoption fee of $125. Please be aware that the Coronado Animal Care Facility is open by appointment only. If you're interested in adopting Moose or any of our animals, you can visit us online at pawsofcoronado.org to fill out an application and our adoption coordinator will get back to you regarding the next step. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's Weekly Update online.